Hello again, everybody. Well, Thanksgiving is once again upon us. And that means three things. One, there'll be football on Thursday with the Lions and the Cowboys. Two, that also means turkey and cranberry sauce and all the stuffings and all the stuff will be served on Thursday. But for us wrestling fans, number three, Thanksgiving means one thing. It's Survivor Series time! Hi everybody again, Zuck and Tackies here with my Survivor Series prediction show. Yes, Survivor Series. Tonight, 25th anniversary, live from the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden, 8th, 7th Central, only on pay-per-view. Now, it's going to be a little different for this prediction show. I'll be talking about the Survivor Series match first. Then, the four title matches, and of course, the big tag team main event. Now, let's do the stats. Show me a little history fact for you. 20 years ago, 1991, Survivor Series, Joe Lewis Serena. There was five matches total on the card. That's the total number of tonight's card. Of those five matches 20 years ago, four of which were Survivor Series matches. The fifth match, the first singles match ever, First title match ever, Hulk Hogan vs. Undertaker for the WWE Championship. Taker won it. 20 years later, it is the opposite. We went from four Survivor Series matches in one title match to four title matches in a Survivor Series match plus a tag team match. Six matches, only one Survivor Series match out of the six. Wow, how difference makes 20 years. All right. Survivor Series match, it will be Team Orton, comprised of Team Captain Randy Orton, teaming up with one half of the 30 United Unified Attack Champions, Kofi Kingston, also on the team Sheamus, Sin Cara, and Batista, I mean Mason Ryan. Their team opponent will be Team Barrett, comprised of Team Captain Wade Barrett, teaming up with the United States Champion Dolph Ziggler, the Intercontinental Champion, Cody Rhodes, Jack Swagger, and the former Sin Cara, Hunico, Hunico, whatever you want to fucking call him. Now, I will predict that Team Orton will win when it comes to predicting which team members will survive. I say it will be Randy Orton and Sheamus being the last two survivors. So that's the team. Say Orton's team will win. And I think Barrett's team could be impressive, but I say Orton's team will win. They need a good guy to win this thing. So Orton will win. Because usually the good guys win. But Orton has a very good record in Survivor Series. He's been the he was the sole survival for what? Three years in a row? In 2003, four and five being the sole survival each year for three years. So it'll be very interesting to see what Orton can do in this match. And I think it was the sole survival in 08 against Batista's team. So we'll see what happens. No, that was... Yeah, oh, eight. I was right. So, we'll see about Orton's team. And I say Orton will win. Team will win. And survivors, Orton and Sheamus. Now on to our title matches. As I mentioned, Dolph Ziggler replacing the injured Christian on the Team Barrett team. He will be wrestling twice again. Defending the United States Championship as well as being in the Team Barrett match. As he'll defend against John Morrison. Now, of course, we all know about the situation... We all know it should have been the internet champion on Island Ice D, Zack Ryder, going up against Dolph Ziggler in his home state of New York City, near the L.I., but no, he got shafted for John Morrison. Well, better to be in shafted for Mason Ryan, but still, are you serious, bro? Now, I like John Morrison, but it's like he had his time. To shine, but you know what? He fucked himself up by fucking with the wrong people backstage, being in a doghouse for so long after WrestleMania, bitching about Melina and Trish, yada yada yada. So now he gets the chance to shine over Zach. One win gets him a title shot. What the hell? Zach be Dolph twice. <laughs> but I say Dolph Ziggler will retain over John Morrison, and then Dolph will finally lose it. Against Zack Ryder tomorrow night on Raw or at TLC. If is Raw in New York tomorrow, I don't know. But if Raw's in New York tomorrow, it'd be great for Zack to win it tomorrow night. So Dolph will retain tonight. 
over John Morrison. And hopefully this will be John Morrison's last match before his contract expires. Because I mean, John Morrison may leave. Maybe the only do this match is make John Morrison have a title match before he leaves. So there you go. Speaking of title matches, on with our next title match, which is for the Divas Championship. It'll be a Lumberjill match. That stipulation made over the weekend. As Eve, the winner of a Halloween Battle Royal, to be number one contender, once again gets a second shot against Beth Phoenix. What's up with the Divas Division? You gave Beth Phoenix three shots against Kelly before her winning it. And now Beth Phoenix is getting Eve her second shot. Can someone else get another shot? Please, can, can Dory please give a shot to anybody but Kelly or Eve? Well, it can't be Natalia. And I don't want it to be Lisa Fox, but still, stupid. So, simple. Beth Phoenix will retain, and I bet you Lumberjills will get in a fight. Basically, every Lumberjill match, other Lumberjills always brawl. So, there you go. Next, for the war title. Big Show, Mark Henry 2, the rematch of Vengeance. Now, Vengeance match, the ending was pretty good, but the match was, ugh. I say this match would still be slow, because like I said, these guys aren't as anti as they once were. So, simple. Mark Henry will retain the title tonight over Big Show. And hopefully it will be an even pinfall or submission victory. I say pinfall. Hopefully this will win clean instead of fucking no contest like last time. And then, for the WWE Championship, CM Punk will challenge Puto de Rio. And I'm hearing a lot of rumors that no matter what, there will be a rematch at TLC. That's what I'm hearing from the local video that been, that's been airing in Baltimore. So, I hope Punk wins tonight. It doesn't matter. Punk will win the title eventually. You know, I'm hearing rumors of going to Chicago with the title. So, if Punk doesn't win tonight. He'll win a TLC. But no matter what, Punk will win the title before the end of the year. So I say, Punk all the way, baby! Yeah! And this should be a great match. They had a great match on Raw before Hell in a Cell. Perfect, perfect segue to this feud. And I hope they deliver a great match tonight. This should be a good title match tonight. But I don't think it's going to top UFC 139, which was excellent. If you haven't yet, watch my review. Now on to the main event. What should be considered the main event. Tag Team War as Awesome Truth. Miz and All Truth team up against the R Couple. I call them. Never before, never again. John Cena will team up with the man who's wrestling for the first time in seven years in the venue which he debuted at exactly 15 years ago at Survivor Series. The People's Champ. The Rock got my little laugh to smack it down shut. Now here's what I say. Rock and Cena will win the match. But I say they may have like people like when they make tags they may like slap each other in the chest instead of hand. Like Cena's like come on Rock. Ugh. Something like that. And The Rock will turn on Cena after the match. Or vice versa. To be honest I hope they'll return Cena here. You mean everyone is booing Cena everywhere, even in Boston, his own hometown is getting booed, and there's no way Rock's working heel for this match against Cena. And I know though he's like, oh, we don't like Cena heel because he's the big money maker, but you have to because everyone hates Cena, and plus everyone cheers Rock, so it doesn't matter who turns out who, Rock and Cena will fight each other tonight, one of them will turn on the other tonight. So Rock and Cena will get into some sort of confrontation tonight. They'll try to be a team, but then they're going to uncoincide and someone will get something. Either Rock gets a Rock bottom on Cena, or John Cena, FU's, I'm still calling it FU, I'm never calling it the Attitude Adjustment ever, FU's the Rock. And of course Cena says, John Cena bitch slaps The Rock will be trending on Twitter. Because Boots 2 Asses was trending on Monday. At that segment on Monday in Boston. Which was awesome. 
So there you go, that's my Survivor Series predictions. I'll see y'all later on tonight for my Survivor Series review. Then by the detect by the predictions from Zach. Thank you very much. See you later. See you tonight. What am I reviewing? Yeah.